Hi, I'm uh, Michael from RIM. Uh, I'm here at the Mobile World Congress 2011, uh, showing off the playbook. I want to show you a uh, demo that we call Wildcard. Uh, it shows off some of the capabilities of the, of the platform. Uh, in this case, it's uh, 3D rendering on the GPU and also a multi-touch. Uh, and this is a list powered by a physics engine, all running in 60 frames per second. Uh, and this is a scrapbook application, so you can create things like uh, the photos here. Uh, the point is to create funny photos and send it to your friends using your uh, local photo content. So I'm going to create a new picture here. Here you have, have all of your photos stored on the device. You can drag them out like this. And uh, scale it, rotate it, translate. And as you can see it has full multi-touch support. Like this. So I can uh, move, translate, uh, multiple things at the same time. Funny photo here with a photo of my dog. Uh, and he's happy right now. So I'm doing like this. Taking a picture and then sending it to one of my friends. I can also save the photo for later use. Dragging up here to save. And then it appears here in, in the physics list. The last demo I want to show you is a demo that we call Front Runner. Uh, it shows off heavy 3D graphics all the way, so it's a UI completely based on 3D graphics. It has these uh, columns here that you can scroll up and down. Uh, it's basically a home screen application, so it shows you applications, photos, music, people, and other things as well. Uh, so this here can access your favorite music. And if you click on the album covers, you can see some cool 3D transitions, seamlessly. Uh, if I click on my photos, I can watch my, my latest photos in full screen. I uh, also want to show you the uh, photo application here. Also, everything fully in 3D, uh, with complex reflection shaders on them, uh, 60 frames per second. With some cool uh, transitions here all done in uh, real time by the GPU. This is something that any third party developer could do on the playbook uh, and the hardware inside is really capable of doing things like this.